Hi, boys and girls. Today we're going to read the fiction book Richard Was a Picker, written by Carolyn Beck, illustrated by Ben Hodson. Now, there are a lot of reasons to read a book. The reason I'm reading this book today is for entertainment. And the author, Carolyn Beck, does something really cool with rhyming words. As I read, see if you can find the words that she rhymes together. This story is about Richard. Richard picks his nose until one day he discovers the perils of his habit. When his fingers get stuck up his nose, he panics. To M, who picked me, and to my adorable daughter Zoe, may this story never happen to you. Richard was a picker. He would pick and pick and pick. His neighbors called him Booger Boy. His best friends called him Rick. He'd stick his finger up his snout and prod and pry and scoop stuff out. He stretched the gooey, slimy strings into loops and swingy things. From the crumbles, gobs, and ooze, he sculpted castles, farms, and zoos. Jelly yellows and gooky whites made robots, trains, and satellites. Globby browns and clabbery greens built airports, towns, and submarines. Then one day, as he dug about, Richard's finger would not come out. He pulled, he tugged, he grasped and gripped, but up, 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 his finger slipped. One knuckle, two knuckles, then all three. Oh no, said Richard, how can this be? He tried a yank, a jerk, a twist. In went his hand up to his wrist. Help, he honked in puzzled alarm. Snort, Richard's nose sucked up his arm. Richard froze, he dared not blink or gasp, or twitch, or even think. Around him fell the strangest hush, then rumble, grumble, whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Shoulders, chest, knees, and toes, the rest of Richard slid up his nose. Richard was in, his half-pick snout, which now was completely inside out. He looked like a booger, a big gloopy blob, an ooey, gluey, goobery glob. Help, help, help! Richard's hollers were so muffled, so wee, they couldn't be heard by even a flea. He wriggled his fingers and squiggled his toes, but still he stayed stuck inside of his nose. He wormed, he squirmed, he snapped and bumped. He kicked, he flicked, he flapped and thumped. Then with a shudder and a shh, sh shake, Richard's inside out snout began to quake. It wobbled and bobbled, tottered and rocked. To Ed's, to Ed's, to Ed's, Richard squawked. He zigged and z -z zagged toward the door. His gooky nose gathered stuff from the floor. A book, a puzzle, the rug, a shoe, a ball, some shorts, and a sock or two. He rumbled, he tumbled down the hall. Pictures fell from their hooks on the wall. As he lurched from his house into the street, he bowled his mother right off her feet. He picked up six cats, five crows, one mouse, an unsuspecting dog sleeping in his house, a wagon, a frog, two babies in a pool, an old Miss Rapper Taffy knitting on her stool. Neighbors yelled, neighbors ran. Richard kept on rolling. He had a plan. He rolled past the bank and Maury's meats by Flora's flowers and Stella's sweets. Behind him chased the entire town. Catch it, they cried, hunt that thing down. They waved canes and sticks and big wooden spoons, chains and picks and nasty harpoons. But Richard kept rolling. He was headed for Ed's. If he didn't make it, he'd be shredded to shreds. Get those babies, stop that blob. The crowd chasing Richard was a mad, mad mob. Four blocks, three blocks, just two blocks to go. But Richard's snout was beginning to slow. His nose was too loaded, too lumped and clumped. Seeing their chance, the six cats jumped. Five crows flew, one mouse leapt with the dog in the house, slept and slept. 
With one block left, Richard slowed to a crawl. He was barely moving at all, at all. Then came the jab of a big wooden spoon and the quick, sharp prick of a rusty harpoon. Richard bumped to a stone dead stop directly in front of Ed's spice shop. Get it, bash it, mash it, cried the horde. Net it, thrash it, smash it, they roared. St, st, stop, stammered Richard. Stop, stop, please. He crossed his fingers and waited for a. A, a, a chew. It could have been the parsley, the pepper, the thyme, the nutmeg, the mustard, the ginger, or the lime. It could have been the cumin, the coriander, the salt. The only thing that mattered was the end result. The babies, the wagon, the socks, the frog, the pictures, the puzzle, the rug, the dog, the book, the ball, the shorts, the shoe, old Mrs. Rapper Taffy, and Richard too. Everything went flipping and flying round and round, but all landed safely on a soft, spicy mound. The babies went puff, the dog went plop, old Mrs. Rafferty went flip, plap, flop. The crowd stood astounded. They were plastered in snot. B booger boy, they sputtered. That's you, is it not? Richard rubbed his nose. It was very, very sore. Booger boy, he said. No, that's not me. Not anymore. All right, guys, I hope you like this book. When you're all finished, go ahead and answer the questions on your quiz and turn it into our classroom on Google. See you later.